Let's look at these questions again. Say, who am I? Who am I? Who, am I? who, am I? who made me? Why was I created? Why am I still alive? What can I offer to the world? What becomes of my soul? If I die now, how do I become what I was created to be? If you can answer these seven questions, you are found and what you are going to do. I mean it. I myself, I was troubled with these questions, even from childhood. Uh, I traveled back to town yesterday. Amen. Amen. But I left way after officiating the friend's wedding, went down to Tiku, right, to meet my, fam uh, my, my sister and uh, the, the husband and their family. Praise God. Okay. We stayed up almost 3.30 a.m. at night. Are you hearing me? And she said something amazing to me. When my mother confided in her, seeing me grow up, my mother said this from when I was still very small. She said when she was sleeping, she was seeing me preaching to people, a lot of people. When I was still very small, just like kind of one time, Queen is right now, my daughter. Think about it. And here comes society imposing on me to be a doctor. <laughs> so that I will feel important. So that family will be proud that they have a doctor in their family. Wrong assignment. I'm not built for it. Do you know anything you were born to do, God built in you the abilities? Yes. This is why when you get on that assignment, things just start happening big time. Are we struggling to be here? Are we struggling to serve? Imagine I have enough data every month. People pledge to activate data for me in my phone. Because someone just so. I mean, and ask this question. Do you edit these videos before you upload? I said no. I said I just upload them as raw as they are because all the video graphic services are not yet available right now. He said then you must be using a good lot of data. I said yeah. I said, okay, fine. I'm pledging that each month I'm going to make sure I activate your internet connection data. Think about it. And I've been faithful in doing it. But before that, did I ask anyone for money? I was just enjoying what I'm supposed to be doing. And it's not costing me nothing. Mark my words, I live on work, to work rather on Thursday. I tend to patients, I tend to them, the ones at, uh, around my area. All this cash that comes in, there is no personal ambition about it. Oftentimes, priority is the church. Oftentimes. That's a life of perpetual sacrifice. Yet I'm not complaining, I'm not angry. So I'm following many things, you know? And this is also why it's important to know your purpose because when you don't know your purpose, you get irritated at things that you are doing. Let me say this in conclusion then. If what you are doing right now is not making you happy, you're on the wrong assignment. Simple. <laughs> if what you are doing right now is making you very angry, you are frustrated about it, you are not finding fulfillment, it's hurting you, you are bitter about it, you are hoping this thing stops one day quickly, no, you are on the wrong assignment. When you want, when you are doing what you are born to do, even it's on Monday morning, you are not tired of getting to work. Do you know so? You have no idea how excited I feel when I have people I must talk the word of God with them. You know, you have no idea. You have no idea. So find out answers to these questions. Questions whose answers lead to your purpose. Who created man? Where do I come from? If I die now, where do I go? Why was I born? What can I do? How then to know your purpose? Should we end up with this? How should we know your purpose? Do you know? I'm giving you the tip because the, the purpose of this message, the intention of this message, purpose in purpose, eh? the intention of this teaching today, okay, is strictly to lay the foundation for rediscovery of your purpose. Strictly, that's the intention. You understand me? We'll begin to talk other things like benefits of knowing your purpose, how to pursue it, uh, challenges in you know, pursuing your purpose, and all of that. Become a kingdom citizen. Become a child of God. Okay, just keep your focus on me, please. Don't worry about the board. Let me give you say this quickly. If you want to discover your purpose, become a child of God. It's very important. Do you know why? Who created you? Does God live with us physically here that you can walk to his door and knock his door and say, Hey God, I've come today to ask questions. God is spirit, right? Yes. And if we must live with God, whom we don't see, we have to live with him through our what? Spirit. So when you get born again, he imparts in you his spirit, so you can talk with him. Life begins to make meaning when you're on an assignment. Many people who are not born again are actually doing things society is defining and imposing on them. This is why we have too much problems on earth today. 
People are doing the wrong things. Many are doing the wrong things. Praise God. So become a born again. Next thing is that you should live your life once you are born again in total submission to Jesus as King and Lord of your life. Follow through his word. Next critical thing, ask God. So the purpose of a product is known by who? Say manufacturer. So ask him, why did you create me God? Simple question in prayer. Eh? Why did you create me? What am I supposed to do on earth? What's my assignment? Ask him. Trust me, he will show you. Many of us ask for too many wrong things. God give me money, give me the husband, give me this one. One of the critical prayers you must ask God and get audience answers is what you are going to do. Find out. I asked him and he showed me. And how he shows you, well, you will see. Next thing is that segmentorship. Next thing is that associate with people who are already doing their assignment. They have, done what they, are, they have already discovered what they are about to do. This is why it's so safe for you to be around me right now. Say it's safe for me safe to be around this man of God. Because anyhow, you will learn something that will keep you back on track. I'm telling you the truth. Listen to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. Hear the Holy Spirit speak to you. Because the Holy Spirit takes from the Father and shows what is to come. It's your teacher, it's your instructor, it's your counselor. Next thing is that, find out the things that you love doing and do them with passion. Everyone right here has something when they are doing, they love it. It's one of the glimpses, the openings into your real purpose. Amen? Then commit to fulfilling the assignment, all right, that you are giving to do to the glory of God. These are seven critical things you must, you know, work on if you want to discover your purpose. Amen. All right. So, ways God will show you your purpose. Visions. He gives visions of it. Paul had an encounter and he had a vision. Keep, just yeah, keep, what, keep, keep on the board. It's okay. God had an encounter, uh, Paul had an encounter with Jesus and he saw a vision. Amen. And in that vision, someone spoke to him. His life changed. You can be shown what you should do through visions. Next thing is through convictions. In a conviction, you just know within you beyond any outer of that, that is what you want to do. Even when your parents say, go back to school and study history, you know I'm supposed to study mathematics. You just know it. And you, when you are convicted about what God wants you to do, you are interpreted as being stubborn and naughty by society. Hey, hey, say better be stubborn and naughty. Say better be stubborn and naughty for the right assignment. Now, Passion for a particular assignment. Sometimes you know ways God will show your purpose. You develop passion for a particular assignment. You just have passion for it. Next thing is um, uh, the impact your work creates. You do something, it blesses lives to extents you cannot imagine. Amen. Next thing is there is an inward intuition. There is a feeling within you. You just have this understanding within you that words cannot explain it. Praise God. Next thing. Through the disturbing feelings about the issues around you now. <laughs> Amen. You can be disturbed about so many things to the extent that you begin to find out you are calling in it. Next thing is through what supernatural encounters. Next. Even through divine instructions. Next. Uh, God may allow persecutions to reveal your calling to you. Some of you are so comfortable. It's okay then. Praise God. Some of you right now are so comfortable with doing wrong things. It's necessary that persecution hits you. And I prophesy, when that time comes, God's purpose will reveal in Jesus' name. Amen. Some of you are also busy doing good things, and I'm speaking to you here and you are there. Busy with doing very good things because you are afraid of pursuing your purpose. Persecution will come. Fire will touch you. And when that persecution comes, you will be so disturbed, and God will be so happy. Amen? <laughs> because through that persecution, your assignment, your calling on earth, for being on earth, will be rediscovered. And I decree in Jesus' name, you will not again have this year gone through without you rediscovering your focus of creation. Amen. Trust me, you will pay it down with confidence. You know this is what I'm about to do. From now, as you leave from this place, God will give you visions. He will give you intuitions. He will speak to you. He will convict you, he will inspire you, he will show you exactly what he created you to do. As you shall ask him, you will receive answers in Jesus' name. May God bless you. So, in conclusion, ways to know, uh, ways that God will show you your purpose, okay? 
And again, as you shall know, it's our year of the kingdom of God rediscovery. I want you to be blessed by with this as you go back home, study it, and work on it. God bless you.